hey guys welcome to a new video today i have the shop missa makeup portion and we're gonna get started um so yeah we're gonna get started with the eyebrows so we're gonna start with my eyebrows i got this eyebrow pencil from the aoa studio brand um it's the sculpting um brow pencil in the shade and the medium brown it has this swooling I kind of like that it's not so pigmented and let's see how it looks okay that's how they look they don't look bad they look really good actually oh look I found this let me put this on so remember I told you guys I got two of the AOA or this is a Princesa Mattifying Covered Maquillaje No, it's concealer I use this one to correct my eyebrows and to prime my lids And then I'll use this one to conceal my under eyes Okay, so I put some in my hand And it looks like it's a little dark or maybe perfect um, And I'll use these brushes I didn't wash them, I just took the paper, the, yeah, the paper off well, I'm just going to use them like that So I'm going to take this brush right here it seems like it's a little bit thick, so we'll see. Um, it's, uh, it is dark. As you guys could tell, it's dark. Okay, so that's how I'm going to leave it. Now we're going to go with the palette. XOXO palette. As I showed you guys in my last video, it looks like this. So if you guys haven't watched the haul, go watch it and then come and watch this one. Um, if you guys want, I don't, you guys don't have to. Um, I also bought some single shadows. So this one and this one. And I think I'm going to open this one. I, I'm going to try this one on first. Because I don't see a lighter color there. So I'm going to use this brush right here. It's so clean. It matches this. But it's so clean to use it. <laughs> They're powdery, but that's fine. Here's what the color looks like. Looks good. It's a really good um, transition color. I'm gonna go like this, like that. I have a mirror. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with that color right there. It's also powdery. I'm just gonna pack it and then I'll just come in and blend it. Just blend it with this brush right here. Okay, so that's how it looks. It's not the best quality, but I mean, we could work with it. I'm gonna go in with this color right here and a little bit of that. There's so much fallout, considering how much I put in my brush. Which one should I add? Oh, there's also this one. This one right here, which looks like this. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm just using my fingers because it's easier. Can't really do nothing with nails. With a smaller brush, I'll get, and it's that one, it's lighter. It's a really nice color. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use a liner. Pizza break. Pérame, pérame. I lift you guys on. So I was gonna show you guys the liner. This is in the shade brown. Let's see how it works. I like more brown liners than black liners, so it looks like that. And this seems like it's matte. They kind of look the same. Oh, by the way, I always cut myself here. Okay, so this is a foundation. And the packaging, it looks kind of... Like it would kind of match me. But it's super duper brown. Or yellow. I'm not using any primer. So, I'm just... I think I just have the oil that I put after I washed my face. So, I feel it. It's liquidy. And as you guys can see, this is not my color. But... We'll see how it looks after. Oh, it smells good. This foundation smells good. It smells like like a perfume. So I'm gonna use this little mini thing, and we'll see how it goes. I think it's a pretty good foundation. Like I said in the haul, it's not a full coverage. It's a lightweight foundation, but you could build it up, of course. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna build it up just so you guys can see how it looks with another layer. And yeah, let me do another layer. Okay, 
see so this is what it looks like in the second layer i'm gonna try the concealer by the way the the foundation is in shade sand so i would probably go like two shades lighter and then the concealer looks like it will be a good color um fair ivory oh yeah it's white enough i just don't like the applicator but i mean you could always use um something else to apply it it feels thick okay so that's how i look it looks nice actually it's way better than the one i um tried my in my last shop and say video oh my god it's a really good concealer actually it looks really really so good now i'm just gonna use this contour stick in the shade fawn and it looks like this that's dark i don't think it's a good color for me though okay now so now i'm just gonna get my powder that i told you guys i would use since i didn't order a, a powder so it's this one um it's the aoa studio perfect setting powder in the shade soft light and it looks like this and i'm just gonna use it with what the same spot god it took me forever and i'm just gonna set where i'm gonna put um the bronzer and highlight and then the contour it looks good. so i'm gonna go in with this aoa studio perfecting finishing pressed powder and the shade almond and i got this um as a bronzer just because i didn't really like the selection of shades they had for bronzers and it looks like that hopefully it works if not it's fine no it's not really doing anything for me it's too light for a bronzer this smells like um the baby powder for so they don't get rashes for blush this is a blush it's the aoa studio perfect blush in the shade darling it's a really really nice shade for highlighter i have three i have the ones i showed you guys these are a the aoa studio allure highlights these are the two shades i have these are cream they're so um this one's more powdery in a way this one's in the shade for you they're really nice though and then this is the aoa studio um pow lighter which is highlighter a powder form this one looks like this Ooh, it's blinding it's a really nice color and i'm also add it in my inners Ooh. so i'm gonna use um for you in one cheek and then the other one and the other cheek i'm just gonna use my finger okay that looks so nice okay so this is the shade sometimes wow it's a really nice color and it works good on top of the powder it looks so natural okay so now i'm just gonna put my lashes before i do my lips and i'm gonna use this it's star mascara from i don't even know what's the brand it doesn't even say and i'm just gonna apply it it looks like that now i'm gonna add these lashes that i got and this is the glue this is what they this is what they look like they're perfect for me <laughs> oh my god i just ripped <laughs> i just ripped it i ripped it again and you can see it's so stuck in there like it's hard to get them out and then with nails you can't do anything okay it's on they're not so dramatic they're perfect for my liking okay it's on um i don't know what you guys think i know they're not perfectly secured but these feel so comfortable if you like comfort like get these these are the i think these are the style mila and um they feel so comfortable i just don't know how to apply them and i'm gonna be using this la colors auto lip liner and the color rose brown so this is a lip cream lipstick i'm gonna be using this is the color oh snap it smells good though oh it's a really nice color so at first it's really creamy 
it dries matte. Okay, so the last thing I have here. So this is the setting spray. There was also a primer spray. It locks in makeup, so we're gonna try it. And it smells good. Okay, so that's everything for this video. I liked everything. It's actually my favorite thing were the highlighters. This is my Shop Missy full face. If you don't like to spend a lot of money on makeup, um, you should check it out. $1 is not bad for something that maybe works for you and or something that won't work for you. Yeah, that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I did actually. And I hope you guys have a very good Christmas, a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday, uh, New Year's, everything. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.